Hey guys, Greg here again. We're gonna do a little review of a six months old mouse. So let's go and look. We're gonna talk about the Razer Piper Ultimate. Such a beauty. A great mouse. I'm not gonna go too deep in the specifications, you know. It's 74 grams. It's really lightweight though. Actually, the Glorious is a bit lighter, but it's minimal difference, you know. You can notice a little bit, but when you're gaming, it's it's okay. So this is the beast with a nice RGB lighting. It changes colors from time to time. See, it goes darker now. It's pretty cool, just the aesthetic as aspect. Depends if it's worth its money. I don't know. If you got the budget, I would buy it. I had it uh, as a birthday gift, but I was really happy with my former mouse, like, like the glorious. Model O, not zero, Model O, just uh, checking you up guys, but the quality is the same as the Model O, except the technology behind it, and there's a big difference, not a slight difference, you cannot notice it so much, but still, like the clicking, there's an optical mouse switch, I had to check it out. Optical mouse switch. Uh, it goes like two times faster. No, I'm sorry, three times faster than a normal mouse. But they like it's such a little difference. For me, the difference is like really minimal when you play a game. Maybe for a pro gamer, it's a big difference because their reaction speed are more uh, are better than ours than an amateur gamer. They say it's three times faster than normal. But it's like milliseconds you're talking about, you know. That's, that's not a lot, you know, music. So we get the recharge time of this mouse. It's like 70 hours. Sem 70 hours. You know what 70 hours is? A lot. You know, you game maybe 4 or 5 hours a day. And then it still has like 65 hours left, you know. So uh, you only have to recharge it for once a week. Watch out, they say it's 70 hours without the RGB lightning. Even if it's 40 hours, you know, if you only have to recharge once a week maybe sometimes you get a, a cool cool recharge thingy with it so it's really cool though it's really easy to put the mouse on it and no problems with the six months i already used this mouse it clicks like right on it it's very sturdy you see it doesn't fall off so it was pretty i it's pretty neat though so about the recharging it's awesome Okay, next thing we have is the sliding pads. Damn, so smooth. Crazy. They slide really good though. Like the same with the Glorious D. A Glorious O. Just the same as the Glorious O. Uh, I would recommend also a cloth pad. Because when you have a hard surface mouse pad, it slides like crazy. Just buy a cloth mouse pad, you'll be happy to do it. You got more frictions, uh, more control over your mouse because it slides too much, you know. Okay, we're gonna compare the mouse clicking of both mouses from the Glorious Model O and the Viper Ultimates. So we're gonna start with the Model O. It's a bit sharper, a bit tenser, but when you're gaming, you don't hear that. It's like, that's a Viper. You see, it's a bit a little bit of difference but some people they get annoyed by it i don't know i put a head sound on it i don't hear the clicking maybe for the people and when you're in discord or uh, team speak but i wonder why they re review that sometimes you know it's all the same you know okay with this technology with razor they also have when you lift your mouse when you're gaming sometimes you're like really intense gaming like sliding over your mouse pad and then suddenly you're sliding a little bit up and you're still moving the mouse it detects this it's like not much but still detects it with other mouses sometimes you lose contact and it doesn't follow so that's the difference with this uh, laser okay say your battery is dead and you don't have juice anymore in your mouse you're like fuck i didn't recharge this no problem guys no problem at all. You just thank you, click this out. 
Yeah, here you go. You just click this out, and then you just put it in your mouth. It's, uh, it's that's easy, man. It's like that's really cool, though. And now you got a cord, cord mouse. That's pretty cool. Neat. Let's put it back up. And put it back in. Get it the right way. Here you go. That's all. That's all there is to it. Also, I wanted to show you guys. There's a little thingy here you can open. I don't know if you can see it. You can put a, a dongle in it. You get a little dongle that you gotta put it on the PC. I'm gonna show you right away. Here you go. This is dongle. Like a USB dongle so you can connect your uh, mouse to your computer. And then you can put it in it. It's in it. And you can close it. Here you go. So you can bring your mouse whenever you want it. Hop. Take it out. Plug it in your PC. There you go. You can start gaming. Okay, about those six months I have it. There's no damage on the mouse. A little bit on the sides. It's really difficult to let you show you guys. I don't know if you see it. It's a little bit uh, damage, a bit of frictions for my thumb. The, the mouse buttons are still okay. But I think that's with every mouse, you know. A little comparison. That was my uh, 502. Everybody knows it. It's a bit dirty, but it's still, it's real. It's real dirt. You know, there's also a lot of usage here. This side too, because of rubber pads. So, it was a good mouse too, but a lot heavier though. And also for FPS, I recommend a light mouse, man. It's, I don't care if they say the Razer Ultimate Basilisk, I think, of the Razer uh, Basilisk. It's a bit heavier. It's got a thumb grip like this one, like the 502. So you can uh, rest your thumb on it, but it's still heavier, you know. So I still recommend the lighter ones, like those ones, the Glorious the viper ultimates you can see there's not a big difference in in size too you know it's uh really minimal if you don't have the budget just buy this one you, know. you won't regret it if you get the budget buy this one that's like almost a perfect mouse it's actually a perfect mouse the only thing i i, I I, sometimes it bothers me that's like those buttons but you can deactivate those you know I don't use those on the other side I only use those at the thumb so you know overall I'm really happy about this mouse except the price you can buy it for 120 140 I will leave a link below so if you don't know the mouse I mean hey guys here I got some footage of the mouse I got also some footage of two gaming mouses, the 502 from Logitech, the Model O from Glorious, and also of course the Viper Ultimate, so you can compare from size. Okay guys, please leave a like and please sub for more upcoming videos. Also, I'm on Twitch, so if you want to watch me, just join on Twitch. We can pl maybe play a game together. So hopefully to see you soon guys. See ya, bye bye. Don't forget the like! <laughs>